one week ago, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich announced he is running for president. And already, some critics say his candidacy is dead in the water. CBS News political correspondent Jan Crawford is in Washington this morning with the latest on the race for the Republican nomination. Boy, never a dull moment in this one, Jan. Well, that's for sure, Erica. And Gingrich, I mean, he's one of the best-known conservatives in the country. He's considered one of the intellectual leaders of the Republican Party. Uh, but he's also got a reputation for being a little undisciplined, talking before he thinks. And it seems like this week he's lived up to that reputation. I'm Newt Gingrich, and I'm announcing my candidacy for president of the United States. Newt Gingrich had just started his campaign for president when conservatives, people from his own party, were saying he was finished. He didn't have a big chance from the beginning, but now it's over. Folks, don't ask me to explain this. There is no explanation. It started with his appearance on a Sunday talk show when Gingrich suddenly took aim at Republicans, specifically Congressman Paul Ryan's budget plan, which all but four House Republicans support. I don't think right-wing social engineering is any more desirable than left-wing social engineering. I don't think imposing radical change from the right or the left is a very good way for a free society to operate. Ryan shot back. With allies like that, who needs the left? Gingrich called Ryan to apologize on Tuesday after getting an earful from a voter in Iowa. What you just did to Paul Ryan is unforgivable. I didn't do anything to Paul Ryan. Yes, you did. You undercut him and his allies in the, in the House. No, I said, You're an embarrassment to our well, party. I'm sorry you feel that way. Then came news embarrassing to Gingrich. His wife's financial disclosure form showed that in the recent past, he owed up to half a million dollars to the fancy jewelry store Tiffany's. That's not exactly a good message when voters are worried most about the economy. More embarrassment Tuesday in Minneapolis when a gay rights activist glittered Gingrich at a book signing. Will the rainbow news stop the hate, stop anti-gay politics. The backlash comes less than a week after Mitt Romney, the presumptive Republican frontrunner, also stumbled with the right. Romney tried to defend his support for health care reform in Massachusetts, but some top conservatives didn't buy it. The missteps are helping former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty, who's taking a slow and steady approach to the race. But they also are increasing the pressure for someone else to jump in, especially Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman and Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels. So, so, Jen, <laughs> excuse me, I got something caught in my throat. As you, as you take a look at this, from everyone that you've spoken with out there in the political arena, is Gingrich's candidacy essentially hanging on by a thread at this point? Well, a top Republicans told me yesterday that he is in serious trouble. His campaign is in severe jeopardy, Erica. And I think the big question now really is the bottom line, money. Whether he can hang on to some of those big donors that had already lined up to support him or whether this is just too much for them and they're just going to peel away and, and go with someone else. I have a feeling we'll be hearing more uh, in the not-too-distant future. Jan, thanks.